Hey guys, this is Ram from Viral Help and this is my second video series on Oracle PL SQL. And if you haven't watched my first video, you can check my link in the description and you can see the first video also. And in my last video, I have created several variables to hold uh, a single student record. So in this video, I'm going to cover something called record. So record is uh, a kind of composite data types. So in Oracle, you have uh, two different kinds of composite data types. The first one is record and the second one is collections. So in this video, I'm going to completely focus on records. And in my next video, I'm going to focus on collections. So a record is something like a data structure which can hold multiple column records into a single element. So what I mean is that so I have a single student record here. So this guy has an ID, a name and marks. So instead of separately storing an uh, ID in separate variable, name in separate variable, what I can do is I can create a you know single student data type. So student kind of data type. So this this data type can hold ID, name, marks, and all together into a single data type. So how do I do that? So we can achieve the same data structure using something called record in Oracle. So how do I create my own data type like student? So all you have to do is you have to so so b before let me just comment on these things. So I'm going to create a new data type called student underscore record, and I, I which is actually going to be a record. So what I mean by this is that so I'm going to create a new data type name of student underscore record, which is indeed a record. So in that record, I'm going to specify what are all the elements this record can hold all together. So uh, if as I as I said before, this is going to be a student record. So obviously, I'm going to create three different elements here. First one is ID. So this is my uh, you know like internal variable name, and in that I have to specify data type. Well instead of directly specifying whether it's a worker or number what i can do is since i know it's a reflection of this column id what i can tell to oracle is that i can just uh, tell to fetch the data type data type from this respective column so how do i do that student which is my table name and its column and a anchor attribute so this anchor attribute percentage type what it does is that it's going to automatically fits the data type of this student underscore ID. I mean, uh, student table and ID column. And it's going to assign the data type to st underscore ID variable. So it's going to Oracle is going to automatically uh, fits the data type for you. You don't need to worry about explicitly specifying the data type. Well, one cool advantage of this thing is that in future, let's say if you have decided to change your uh, structure of your student, let's say instead of, you know, number uh, if you have changed it to worker well this percentage type it's going to automatically fetch it as a worker you know instead of the world one you don't need to change the program again well that's one cool thing and the second element is obviously it's going to be my student name well i am just going to use the same uh, anchor attribute here but uh, it's going to hold column of name and the third one i'm going to create marks and uh, the same thing i'm going to create an anchor attribute well it's as simple as that now i'm telling to my database that you know i, I have a student table and uh, under the student table i have an id go and fetch that data type and then assign it to student id that's all so now i have created my own data type which is of record name of student underscore record and it can it can hold three elements all together so as i said before this is just a data type it's not actually the variable so i'm going to create a variable here so how do i create a variable as i explained in my first video this is how you create a variable like if if you see my highlighted element i have variable and its data type so just like that, I'm going to create another variable here. So which is of, let's say, student, ram underscore student. 
and data type no usually we will specify something like this number or varchar but now we're going to use our own data type all right don't confuse with uh, this one and this one the first one ram underscore student is a variable of type student underscore record it's as simple as that okay now i have my record which can hold three elements how do i access this three element it's very simple i'm gonna go to my begin section now and if you have watched my first video i have told you that all the variables declarations should go in declare section and your actual body should come in begin all right now i'm gonna access my id element so how do i access my id element it's very simple record name dot your element name it's very simple guys it's just like your you know uh, object oriented programming classes and objects so this is like class and you are creating an object ram underscore student and from that object you are accessing all the members of that particular record it's very simple and i have assigned a value of 12 well how do i fetch the values from data i mean table it's very simple just like that all you have to do is you have to take out this record and then you have to pass into into statement it's very simple what it gonna does is it's gonna fetch id name and marks from student table and it's gonna automatically assign to this you know student record so make sure that the sequence is proper so what it gonna do is first element id will go to first element the second column will go to second element like that and if you want you can you know explicitly also specify you can specify like this you know student dot st underscore id comma you know another available another available and so on but uh, this is a short way of directly assigning values to a record so uh, let me just quickly print the uh, data so ram underscore student dot name so it's very simple guys if you have any doubts you can always uh, contact me or you can just uh, reach me in my comment section all right let me just remove this hello world all right now as you can see here the this there is a where statement id is equals to i'm gonna assign this this value so that's all let me just quickly run this one all right now i have featured student name and marks from the table student it's very simple guys all we have done is we have created a record and a new data type which can hold multiple records into a single and one more thing is said it can still hold one student record so this variable here it can hold only one student it can hold only one student name it can hold only one student id so on so on so if you try to fetch two or more rows here it's gonna throw an error because still this record is for single a single i mean it's a single row element so if you want to create another variable you can just use you know like something like another student and you get the data here so just like that so this is one student record this is another student record and each each student will have id name and marks it's very simple well before ending this video i want to explain uh, this another way to you know create a record well this is a full explicit way of creating a record but oracle provides a simple and handy way to create a record automatically well uh, i know that my record is almost or completely equal to my table structure here if you see my table structure here, it holds id name and marks and my record also holds id name and marks and thankfully with the percentage type we are all automatically getting this data type well there's another way to automatically get the entire structure into a record automatically so how do i do that it's very simple so I'm going to create another data type, sorry, another variable here. Let's say uh, Sam underscore student. 
and you know in instead of going through all the burden of this creating uh, record data type and explicitly uh, specifying all the columns i can just specify oracle that take the student table and dump me the record with the structure of student table all right it's as simple as that so what what it means is that so i have a student i have a table name student and it has some structure like id name and marks and oracle is going to automatically create a internal record with this structure and it's going to assign to that particular variable so all this entire highlighted thing will hold to a single statement something called percentage row type so uh, let me just quickly you know assign the value to row type and let's see what happens okay so select the data into sam student all right and one more thing is that uh, as i said before uh, oracle is going to uh, implicitly create a record for you okay, what about the element names so element names are going to be equal to your column names so my record will have first element as id and second element as name you know instead of uh, st underscore id here i have to specify the actual column name of that table and the name column name is name and for marks it goes as marks all right so it's very simple guys this this is actually implicit i mean explicit way of creating a record and this is a uh, implicit way of creating a record automatically uh, oracle will create a record for you based on the table structure all right let me just quickly run this one and let's see what happens all right i got the data from uh, so and so table uh, let me just quickly change the id here and let's see whether i get the data all right i got the data respective value and again as i said guys this record can still hold a single row data I, if you try to dump you know two or three multiple rows like this so if, if you try to fetch all the records maybe two or more uh, this record is going to file because each record can hold respective id name and marks and if you want to store second record you have to create a second variable uh, of that record so in my next video using collections and records uh, i'm going to i'm going to show you how to store you know uh, like uh, entire table structure into a single data type so thanks for viewing guys if you still have any confusion and if you have if you are facing any difficulty understanding this tutorial you can always reach me through my comment section thanks for viewing don't forget to subscribe us thanks